Thanks for swinging by the channel, taking the time to check out my latest review. Uh, so I'm going to feature one here on the channel that was given to me from a, uh, a work buddy and good friend of mine. Um, he recently went on a trip to Michigan, picked up five beers that he brought back to me. Uh, he also uh, bought those same five for him. This is a milkshake IPA that he picked up and he really liked. So I'm looking forward to getting into this one here. This is from Rochester Mills Beer Company. So before I go into the name a bit more, this is called Orange Whip. It is a milkshake IPA. It says L brewed with milk sugars, orange zest, oranges, and vanilla. So you see, just orange and vanilla uh, there on the can art. Um, the Rochester Mills logo up on top there. So on the back, it does say a few things I want to read. Uh, one says, brewed and canned by Rochester Mills Production Brewery out of Auburn Hills, Michigan. Uh, it says, they also put on there for best results, always keep your cool, always keep your cool and refrigerate your beer. Keep your cool and refrigerate your beer. Uh, milkshake IPA. It says another smoothie hop sensation. This IPA combines citrusy hop flavors of citra and mosaic hops with fresh oranges, orange zest, subtly sweet lactose, and a hint of vanilla. Uh, coming in at 6.5% alcohol by, by volume and 45 IBU listed right on the can. It says features citra and mosaic hops. Two hops that I really enjoy. So I can't wait to get into this one here. Uh, I do have high, op high hopes. High hopes. I do have high hopes for this one right here. Um, and I will give it a little bit, just a little bit of a roll here. And what I'm going to use tonight is a, a glass that I recently picked up at the uh, Goodwill. Picked up a few things. One of them... Um, uh, I might do a little video on that. I paid three bucks for it, and um, it looks like that glass is actually selling for like 200 bucks on the old eBay. So I'm gonna look into that. I might even feature that in the channel, uh, one of the videos here on the channel. So I got a glass like this that I've used quite a few times, but this one has the the S on it, and the S is the first uh, letter of my last name. So I figured I picked this up. I kind of like it. All right, so I'm gonna crack this open. Uh, get a pour on it, and I'm hoping it does have that um, little bit of a thickness, that thick, creamy lactose uh, milkshake. Um, oh, that, oh, wow, that is, whoa, that is orange. I mean, that poured out orange. I wasn't expecting that. I mean, it's got oranges in it, and the can's orange, but the beer actually orange. That I hope you can see that there. That is. That looked like orange pop pouring out, or like some type of orange Kool-Aid, and it's just orange in the in the glass there. Lots of times I say, um, oh, "It looks kind of orange or whatever." This this is like orange, like the color orange right here. It might be coming across a little dark on camera there, and it's just a, about a finger of just this frothy, creamy, um, just an off-white head. I'm gonna say like a satin or eggshell uh, color to this. A decent, it does have some carbonation here on the outside of the glass where the bubbles are, but nothing down this way. Uh, I thought it would be a little bit harder to see through, honestly. Um, here, it looks fairly transparent. I can see my uh, silhouette, my shadow, shadow my fingers on the other side of it. Moving up here, not much, but if I really look through the murkiness, there is, uh, I can kind of see the shadow if I hold it up to the light there, vaguely. So, I'm already getting tons of orange. This is just, this is straight up orange. Mm, that's, it's got that sweet vanilla orange. Not quite like a like a creamsicle, that dreamsicle flavor, but it very much does have that uh, orange, vanilla, sweet goodiness going on here. 
I would like to say I'm getting a lot more out of this. You know, no hoppiness, no bit, no uh, no um, floral sensations, uh, no earthiness. It's just straight on orange. Kind of like a just an orange pop, like an orange crush or an orange fago, like an orange pop. It's got that sweet orange going on. And it does smell like, um, not that candied cheap orange either. I mean, it's got, it's pretty good. It smells pretty good. So, hey, I've rambled enough. The head's pretty much gone. Um, so, uh, I'm gonna get a drink on this. It's all about. Okay. Okay. Uh, a much, much lighter body uh, than I was anticipating from a, a milkshake um, IPA. I'm going to say it's lighter bodied, maybe, maybe approaching lighter side of medium. Uh, but it, it's, it's, it's light. It's got this crispness to it, easy drinking. So, what do I get? It's just orange all the way through. So at first, beginning of the palette, right there, that first sip, definitely just orange flavors coming through. And not a generic orange or cheap orange. It's actually got an actual orange flavor. But as it passes through the palette, that's where it really kicks into a very zesty orange almost like the rind of the orange um, as it passes through that's very much what you get just very very zesty rawness finish towards the back half i do get a little bit what i don't get a little bit i get the vanilla and that sweetness you can tell there's lactose in this beer The back end, just a little bit of a hoppy bitterness uh, kicks in right before the swallow. And then that bitterness just carries down the throat. This is very good. So what would I like to see different? I wish the body was a little bit more, uh, more of a full body to it. Um, or a creaminess to it. Uh, it's very thin as far as milkshake IPA goes. But that's just what I would expect from a milkshake IPA. A little bit more of that creamier, um, you know, fuller body, fuller, you know, body to it. Flavor wise, orange whip. This is an orange milkshake. This is an orange IPA. Orange milkshake IPA. Um, there's no mistake in what fruit they were going for in this. And a six and a half percent. Very, very drinkable. Um, 45 on the IBU there. Um, it's not super bitter, but there's a little bit of bitterness on the on the tail end to it. So uh, scoring this thing, it's pretty solid. Um, I'm going to go over a four and probably uh, about a four point... Um, Two five is what I'm going to punch this in at 4.25. Uh, if the body was a little bit more on the fuller side, this could approach maybe the AB, maybe the alcohol content seven and a half. Um, this could approach a four and a half easily, but as is 4.25, super solid, super tasty, um, highly recommended. If you've had this before, uh, let me know what you think about it. And, uh, hey, like always, I appreciate you by the channel. Taking the time to uh, check out this video. Thanks for watching.